shot to fame on Project Runway 10 years ago. Can you believe it's been 10 years? Wow. Since then, celebrities from Celine Dion to Kelly Clarkson and Queen Latifah have all been rocking his looks. And now he has a new book called Dresses to Dream About. Please welcome Christian Siriano. To Good morning. <laughs> started <laughs> with your dresses and your book we wanted to get your take on something that's been in the news we just saw those engagement photos released of Prince Harry and Meghan yeah. Markle and a lot of people have been commenting on the sheer top that Meghan Markle chose to wear in some of these photos and people are wondering if it's appropriate for a royal to wear something see-through what 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 is your fashion take on it yeah I mean it, it is sexy but I think how it was styled was quite I think so elegant and beautiful and I think she's young and modern and that's kind of the whole point of their kind of love affair and I think it's very beautiful yeah um, and she just looked amazing yeah I mean not that I have any weight at all in the fashion world but I loved it too yeah. I thought it was beautiful and elegant I think that's the way I would have described yeah like it even though because she was hidden and how they pose I mean I think if it was a different whole different set it wouldn't have worked but I think for her I think it was quite chic I, I agree. I'm yeah. glad you said that. All right, so let's get to your book now. It's pretty remarkable. We have three of the dresses yeah. featured in it right here in our studio, and we've all been just uh, wow. They're big and girls. Eyeing them all <laughs> They're so gorgeous. They're Let's start girls. with the one on the cover. This one is called the Ombre Bouquet, and your yeah. sister helped inspire this one. Yeah, you know, my growing up, my sister was a ballet dancer. I was too, not as good. Um, <laughs> but you know, my, so my sister was a ballet dancer, so I was always with her, kind of backstage in that world. She was a sugar plum fairy, so I think that kind of inspired this in some way. Um, even though I wasn't even thinking about it when I did it, um, but I think my mom even referenced it and was like, "This kind of reminds me of my sister Shannon," which which I love. Yeah. And um, and this is the cover of the book. We wanted some something bright and bold and fabulous. I mean, that, that dress is every girl's dream, I can tell you. Like, that really is what how I would describe that dress. And you mentioned your mom. Yeah. I know your mom has been a big inspiration she for is. you as well. What is it about her that inspires you in your work? I mean, I think what's great is, like, growing up, my mom was, you know, she was different. She, you know, she loved to get dressed. She wore a DVF wrap dress when she got married. Like, she, she was quite modern, uh, and I think that that was really special. And now she loves it, and she gets free clothes all the time and cruises. <laughs> around the world um, it's and it's mom, great it's every mom's dream no, it's every have, mom's dream have a fashion designer in the <laughs> yes, family as yes, well exactly fact, speaking of your mom she is here in the audience right She's now She's here. <laughs> you look so great mom <laughs> mom what do you think of your son I mean his incredible success and what he does and brings to the world it's amazing it's just been a wonderful ride and he's still the same kind generous person as always as you mentioned I get to go on my celebrity cruises, wear my <laughs> Leslie Jones red, and <laughs> I'm enjoying the fruits and benefits of it all. I'm sure <laughs> you Listen, are. Listen, she got glam this morning. <laughs> oh, I yeah. They thought Robin it was her Robert's dressing makeup room. Makeup it was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you. And we love your son, too, as well. You did a great yeah, job. So she continues to give to the world. In fact, let's move on to this next dress. Yeah. This uh, apparently is one that Taylor Swift fell in love with? Yeah, so um, I love this dress because it was in one of my collections, one of my first collections, and not everybody loved it in the beginning, um, but Taylor Swift loved it. She wore it in her Wonderstruck fragrance campaign, um, which was her first fragrance, so it was a big moment uh, for her and for me. Um, and I think what was great is it it was, became kind of an iconic dress, and we still sell it today, you know, six years later, it's and she looks amazing. It, it looks it. like champagne. I mean, it just yeah. looks like fun. And, it's and fantasy, you know, it. it's supposed to look like a dream, and and, and have that kind of cloud-like movement. That's perfect. Yeah. And uh, let's move over to this dress. Yeah. This dress made headlines, and oh, your mom dress. referenced it, Leslie Jones Red. Yeah. Uh, you made it for Leslie Jones after she said no one would dress her for the premiere of Ghostbusters. Yeah. So why is this one of your favorites? I mean, it's so beautiful. I love this dress because, it, you know, in the book there's a lot of pieces that are big and exuberant, and this actually, I think, is the simplest dress but spoke the most volumes. Uh, you know, it was a big night for her. I think I just wanted to give her kind of a, a pretty woman moment and make her look amazing. And so that's what we did in a simple, beautiful, just great silhouette. And because there's nothing simple about Leslie Jones. There is uh, what is What is it like working <laughs> for her or having her as a client? She is, I can't imagine how fun those sessions She's are. She's amazing. She's quite boisterous. Um, <laughs> and But it's so, it's so fun to dress her because I think she really appreciates it. But she also loves fashion, has a great, beautiful body. She's very tall, um, so she can wear 
wear a dress, which is fun for a designer. You know, yeah. we, we play dress up. Oh yeah, she wears it well. So, <laughs> and, and speaking of red carpets and celebrities, award season just around the corner. What, yeah. are, what are you expecting to see on the red carpet this year? There's a lot happening in Hollywood, yes, obviously, as we all know. Um, so, you know, Golden Globes are coming up and a lot of the actresses are kind of choosing to wear black um, to kind of celebrate solidarity and really give the voice to these women on the red carpet, uh, which I think is really amazing. And I think, uh, but listen, I mean, it's going to be a lot of black, but I think yeah. they're still going to be gorgeous and sexy and powerful. And I'm excited to see that. I'm excited yeah. too. And, and I also wanted to, to, to pick your brain for anyone out there because we mentioned this is your 10 year anniversary yeah. uh, of being uh, the designer that you are. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have advice for all of those young people who are trying to break into a really difficult industry to break into? Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, it's great. I think I think if you wake up every morning and you love fashion, you love clothes. I mean, that's what you should do. I mean, you just have to work at it. I mean, and I think you know it's not all fun and games and celebrities and and because actually they're quite you know, annoying. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I think if you just love to make clothes, then that's what you should do. Yeah. And I think that's like my that's, only advice that's, to that's give. That's great advice. Yeah. I love that advice. Dresses to Dream About <laughs> is out now. Christian Siriano, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for having me. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.